Did you know that if you leave your purse or wallet at home, the Taipei MRT will bail you out? A story of this hidden service recently gained fame. One Miss Lin had left her money at home while in a hurry. She was amazed when staff at a metro station gave her the money to get to class. The Taipei MRT rules allow staff to lend one journey fare to passengers. But in this case, they went above and beyond the call of duty, also personally lending her the money for a return ticket. If you want to catch the metro but you realize at the last moment that you didn't bring your purse or your metro card, the Taipei Metro can lend you the money. This is the 50 NT coin that made an enormous impact on Miss Lin. I had to go to class that evening, so I got my purse and my metro card ready. But when I got to the metro gates, I realized I hadn't brought them. I went and asked them at the desk because there were a lot of people everywhere. They were busy, but they asked me to wait a moment, and then they sorted it out for me. And then she even came out from behind the counter. It was during the evening rush hour. Ms. Lin had forgotten to bring her purse, but the staff at the station were full of patience for her predicament. They showed her how to fill in a borrowing form. And though MRT rules state that only a single fare can be loaned, 35 NT, they also found a way to lend her the return fare. As she gave it to me, she asked if I could borrow money from a classmate for the return. I said yes. Then one of them came up from behind the counter and lent me this 50 NT. I was really touched. Loans like this do not feature on any public lists of MRT services. It's a hidden service. About 1,000 such tiny loans occur each year, adding up to 30,000 NT. <laughs> You can only borrow one journey's fare, depending on where you're going. Afterwards, you can go to any station to return the loan within 10 days. You don't have to go back to the original station. The Taipei Metro Corporation says that 10 percent of passengers never return the loan. They are entered on a blacklist, never to receive the favor again.